Hey guys, welcome to week seven of the Tin Whistle. I'm gonna walk you through kind of our lesson plan and what we're doing. And this week is going to be kind of a longer video. My goal is that all these videos will be about 10 minutes, but this first one is probably gonna be about 20 minutes, just because there's a lot of things that we'll be kind of setting up and explaining for the first time. So let me show you a little bit. In this folder that I give you, what I've done is that I'm taking what's in the CC guide and we're just kind of beefing it up a little bit. And I've made just kind of a script. And my goal is that it's on two pages like this so that you can just have your folder and open it in class and then just kind of follow your script and procedures as you go through just to make it super easy. At the top every week, you'll see whoop, there's a you will need. So there's a supply list and then it has the main concept and the goal for the week so that you can kind of see at a glance what you're doing. And then we have these headings are just kind of like the major sections of the class. So the beginning, the new teaching time, the big concepts, and then the bullets under are questions or um, just kind of the, the action items that you'll actually do under those bullets. So hopefully my goal is that you can kind of read over this and then make some marks or highlight things that you're going to pay attention to. And then you can just kind of glance at it during class. Um, and of course, this is a guide. You know, I have some sentences that are written out here, but that doesn't mean you have to like, okay, kids. Now, today in class, we will get to learn. So you don't have to read it exactly, but this is the general idea of what we're trying to say. Okay, so let's just walk through week seven, and I will, I will just go through. Again, this will be a little bit longer of a video because we'll kind of systematically go through. Um, so one of the big purposes of beefing up this unit a little bit is just so that we can make more connections to God in the music unit because music shows us so much about the character, the creativity, the organization of God. So all of these subjects, we don't want to just study them uh, just to say, well, like, oh, there's dynamics. Cool. But we want to say, wow, what do dynamics bring to music? Isn't that interesting that we serve a God that would make dynamics and not just make everything the same, not make everything soft or everything loud. Like that's cool. So the purpose of this unit overall, and this is what you'll repeat at the beginning of the, every class. The purpose of this unit is for us to play, sing, understand, and enjoy God's gift of music. So every week say the purpose, and then say, today we will, blah, 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 and, and tell them what you're about to do. So in week seven, you will say, today in class, we get to learn some things about music and also practice singing and playing the tin whistle. So this is kind of an introductory uh, week. Another thing that you'll do this week is that you'll kind of vision cast for the whole unit. So you'll say the purpose, but then you'll also tell the class that on week 12, we're all gonna have a tin whistle concert. So we, over these next few weeks, we'll be preparing for that concert. Um, and you'll also tell them that on week 12, the whole campus is going together to together sing Dona Nobis Pachem. So you'll have kind of a vision cast of the purpose and what we're working towards. So that's kind of the opener. Then the next big concept here that you'll go over is cacophony versus unison. And this is a concept that's in the CC guide. Now cacophony is a clash of sounds that's unorganized. And unison is when uh, singing or noises happen together in a unified way. For our intents and purposes, it means everyone singing the same note all together. So we're gonna contrast those two things by first all singing in cacophony. So we'll say, okay, everybody sing uh, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, cause that's our cycle song. 
and just start whenever you want. You can sing high, sing low. So everybody's like, twinkle, 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 twinkle. And then we're like, ah, stop. That's horrible. <laughs> then we say, oh, that is cacophony. That's an unorganized mixture of sounds. What if we try something else? And then uh, begin twinkle, twinkle. Now everyone's singing on the same note, starting at the same time. And then take a moment, sing that, and enjoy it. And go, ah, oh, that's unison. Isn't that nice when we sing in unison? It's nice and organized. You know, God made cacophony, and that's kind of fun and crazy. God also made unison, which is a lot of order to it. Now, when singers or musicians play together, the goal is to be unified and in unison. And then you tell your class, and when we sing together, and when we play the tin whistle together, we want to be unified. And now here's your transition to the next part. Then you say, now, for musicians, there are two ways that they stay together. And this is what's coming next. They cue, they, or they, they follow a cue, or they copy in rhythm. 